Hello, so today we're going to be taking a look at a, another mod for Assault Squad 2. This one uh, recently came out. It's called World War II Chronicles, a total modification. And I've been waiting for this one for a while, so I'm glad I get to finally play it. And we're going to go over some gameplay real quick, and I'm going to talk about what I like about it. So, seeing as this is a total conversion, the, the uh, first two things you're going to notice right off the bat with this mod are the UI differences. They've redone the entire UI. As you can see, they've got um, a bunch of different uh, icons for things. They've got a... pretty much redone the whole thing. Um, and first of all, I gotta say, it's not necessary. Uh, some of it makes it difficult to tell what exactly is... Um, uh, not equipped with the unit, but if you select a unit and you're trying to figure out if they have AT grenades and you've got a colored icon and you glance down at it, you got to figure out whether or not that icon has color in it or not to determine if they have what you need when you select them is a bit obnoxious. I don't think it was necessary whatsoever. It does quote unquote add to the immersion of the total conversion mod itself, but it's not, I don't like it. It's not, I don't feel like it's necessary, and I gotta say, the unit panel on the left hand side seems, um, not as well done as the rest of the uh, icons on the rest of the UI. And the second thing you're gonna notice right off the bat is the sound. Now, the sound, I love the sound. I really did not like the default sounds for Assault Squad 2, I felt they were handsy sounding pea shootery type things that uh, didn't really add much to the experience and almost took away some of the uh, the realism and the uh, immersion of the game so I am all for these new sounds that they've added to this game or to this mod it sounds fantastic when you hear those MGs going off you are get quite concerned and definitely um, feel something when they start firing. Now this uh, mod aims to add some realism and I'm not 100% sure where the realism is. Um, to start with, the base game was already pretty uh, pretty quote unquote realistic. There was some weird damage things that I feel like um, have been sorted out with this mod, and it might just be that I think this is how the game should have been to start with, so I don't really notice when things are wrong, and I just think they're all correct. Um, but the it seems like small arms damage has definitely been redone a bit, and you now can kill people with a rifle shot, um, which makes the uh, the rifle guys a lot more useful and you can have them, you know, shoot people and th those enemies die. It also seems that the tank damage penetration stuff has also been redone. Uh, I can't really speak about that specifically because I don't know f verbatim what was changed and also um, what was um, the stock set uh, model or er, stats for any of those things. It does feel like I got a tiger uh, while I was playing, and the tiger ripped through just about... No, it did rip through just about everything the uh, the allies had. And so, that was pretty awesome to see. As far as... I've only played, like, a few missions of it just to get a feel of what's going on. But I definitely like it, and I definitely am enjoying the experience that it brings. And most of that has to do with the sound. Uh, it adds to me a quite a lot of immersion to the game that was, I felt was missing and the uh, realism as far as damage model and stuff just just adds a cherry on the top of it as far as uh, making it fun making this game enjoyable and I'm glad that a mod has finally come out that has the ability to let me enjoy the game because I've always felt that it's it's um, something I sh should be enjoying and a lot of the things just frustrated me and most of them were small things such as the sound and the um, and the damage of things not being able to kill things and watching your tank miss four times for whatever reason 
when they do hit it, it just bounces off. So, also there's grenade throwing at distances increased. I definitely like that, so that, you know, while these guys aren't, you know, major league baseball players, they can throw a grenade if they need to. So it's nice to have that. So this is definitely a mod that anybody that owns Assault Squad 2 should definitely check out. And I'm going to show you how to install it. So as far as installing goes, just head on over to the workshop. Uh, scroll down, it's uh, World War II Chronicles. It might probably be at the top for quite a while. Then just uh, hit subscribe and you're all set. And then make sure you have it activated in your Assault Squad 2 uh, as shown above. The Curious Gamers is all you need in a gaming community. With articles, podcasts, forums, and more. It's everything you're looking for. There's t-shirts, cheese.